please, I am here to make sure I settle everything. And because many of you are getting the wrong message. Now, there's a young man that came up. I saw his video. He's a young pastor or minister. I respect him because of that. Now, I want to use him and to settle this whole thing. Please tag any of them that you know that have said one or two things concerning the preaching of what Evangelist Chukwu Eboka and be said, concerning prophetess. Many people said he hates prophetess. Many people said he's condemning the office of prophetess. Please take your time and let's watch this video. First, I want you to listen to what this man said. I'm going to use this man and to use Evangelist Chukwu Eboka and Oziobi Yes, and tell you where the problem is coming from and say to this thing once and for all. Let's watch it. Hold on. Why will you say the office of a prophetess is not recognized in the Bible? Wait. Now let me tell you. There are so many powerful women that we cannot talk from now to tomorrow. Look at somebody like Esther. Powerful. A prayerful woman. Good. But she never had any church. This is the problem. Evangelist did not condemn the prophetic office of a woman, prophetess. I will play other videos for you to hear. You will also hear how he said women are powerful. He never condemned the office of the prophetess. Women are blessed by God. One. Women are special people. Two women are adorable. Three, those of you that said is they, they are, are not ordinary. Did you hear that? Hold on, they are extraordinary. Good, that is five. Now, you've heard how he illustrates the power of a woman. Okay, I want you to also listen to where he went further to speak about prophetess women that god have used mightily in the bible that he always recommended those of you that said he is against the prophet office of a woman listen listen look at deborah powerful prayerful woman but she never had any church okay look at judith mm -hmm. powerful good but she never had any church. Okay. Look at Anna in Luke chapter 2. When Jesus was presented to the sanctuary, the woman prophesied. The Bible says she had lived her life in the sanctuary. But when Mary and, and Joseph brought the baby Jesus, they handed Jesus over to Simeon, not Anna. Okay. God who can use a woman to prophesy. Women, there are many prophetess that God will speak to. There are so many women with the gift of vision. There are so many women that can pray and learn walk. God has given them the gift. But can you just show me a place from Genesis to Revelation that a woman has headed the church? Man of God, if you have any issues with prophetess, if, if there's any providence that offended you go straight to her and confront her i could remember two years ago 2022 you you were you were speaking against prophetess you were saying prophetess are for marine that their powers are not real man of god we have prophetess in the bible prophetess deborah prophetess abigail you see here yeah, i have problem with people sir can you provide this video where evangelist Chukwe Bukano Zobi said women that prophesy are from the marine kingdom. See, I don't like it. I don't want I don't want to be hitting on ministers or pastors because when you tell me you are a pastor, I should be able to acknowledge that you are a sacrifice that is being provided for God to use. For you to bring out yourself is is big thing. Do you understand it? I can't do what you're doing. I can't do what Evangelist Chukwe Buka and Ozo be doing. Everybody have their calling. And meanwhile, some of you are not called. 
God did not call all of you. The Bible said many are called, few are chosen. See, God called everybody to serve him. God, it is the mandate, it is, it is a rightful word to use that everybody should, must serve God. But he chose few people among of all of them that will be a leader. I'm not a Bible scholar, but I can explain this better than most of you. What is wrong? This is a very well clear note. Teaching. Preaching. He is not against it. But look at what this young man went to say. If you know one woman that I have been in charge of the sanctuary, tell me, then I will drop my Bible. This message is on earth. If you have, if you can show me one woman that I have been in charge of the altar before, altar of Mekisedek, tell me one from Genesis to Revelation. They are yes, wonderful, they are gifted, but they have never been in charge of the sanctuary of God. No woman will have what it takes spiritually. No woman will have the dynamis or exosia or supernatural what it takes to be in charge of the altar. Now, this is where the problem is coming from. And now, that problem is about to be solved. Evangelist Chukwe Bukano Zobina, I want to tell you what to do as a prophetess. Even this young man also said it. I will also bring this young man, man of minister, man of God, saying the same thing. A woman that see her monthly period. One of God, you have no right to come on the state, on the altar, start speaking against prophetess, that all prophetess, uh, that they are, they are from the marine. That uh, they, will, they will have part on them and they will be ministry. Man of God, when you were saying that, in a lot of people came around the world to encounter Jesus. People came all over the world to hear what God has for them this year. People came all over the world to hear salvation message, to hear their problems. And you are killing their spirits. What are you trying to tell them? You said when they enter a church that a prophetess is the founder of the place, they should walk out from the place. Listen. That they should not allow a prophetess to lay hand on them. Listen. Man of God, by the grace of God. At least when I was little, when I was still when I was still little at my my 10, 10 12 years, I grew up in a spiritual church. And the spiritual church where I grew up from, mm -hmm. when that woman of God, that though she's the fan, fan of the ministry, when she's in a period, she don't go close to the altar. And every genuine prophet that is working with the spirit of God. Anytime they are on their period, they don't go close to the altar. They, they stay aside and they assign their boys what to do. They tell their husband what to do. They don't clam. What this man said now, and what Evangelist Chukwe Bukano Zobi is preaching, or he is saying, Sir, please, what is the difference? If when you were growing up, you still had that kind of memory, okay? And Evangelist Chukwe Bukano Zobi is bringing back that your memory to tell you that if a woman is on her period, she should not climb the altar. She should assign. That simply means there must be something powerful about that period, about a woman's time or seeing her period. Because woman, he said it, women are spiritual, supernaturally made. Let's also hear what Evangelist Chukwe Bukano Zobi said. Concerning this, but women can work miracle. Okay. God can use them mightily, mm -hmm. but they don't have the efficacy, the dynamics, the zosia, mm -hmm. the supernatural what it takes to be in charge of the altar. Problem. Listen. Wait. 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 Please. Any of them you see moving with incense on the altar, raising pastors under her. She should use her husband to be in charge. Let her be doing the miracle, but let the husband be in charge. She don't have what it takes to be in charge of the altar. Show me one woman that has been in charge of the altar from Genesis to Revelation, and I will drop my Bible. I think with this, I'm done. I don't have any other explanation. You heard what the young minister said. The man said, if the woman is on, Evangelist Chukwe Bukano Zobi said the same thing. Now, and he said, you should, the woman should appoint, if she's on her period, 
She should appoint one. Then two, the woman should make the man the head. The wife should be in front. Yes, she can do her miracle. She can do her thing. God can use her. Did you hear when this man said he is condemning the office of prophetess? Please, I want you to go and listen to the full video. It's on the comment section. Stop ranting. Stop selling what is not supposed to be sold. You are giving people wrong information. Bloggers will take what you want to hear because of trend. They want to make the money. And you will go and fall victim. If you want to be getting good updates, you want to be getting the right word, follow this page. I will make sure I give... See, I don't care. I will tell you, when you fuck up, you fuck up. If anybody go wrong, I will tell you you went wrong. This one, Evangelist Shukwe Bukano, Zubi did not do wrong. He did not insult women. People have said he has been insulting our women. No, it's a lie. See, everybody have their ways of preaching, their ways of teaching, their ways of understanding. And their ways of ministry. Please and please stop allowing people to feed you with wrong information. Stop allowing people to feed you with wrong digestion. All most of the bloggers will not give you what is right. Some people will say they insult our women, period, period. No, the thing is, see, we are adults. The children are growing up. When we when the children then they don't used to teach children sex education. And children grow up to misbehave. But this time, children are being taught. And parents also, also educate their kids. Do you know why? They don't want them to make mistakes. Evangelist Chukwe Bukano will be teaching it, preaching it the way it is. And this young man, as I don't want to play the video, he went for that and say that this kind of thing the man of God should have been, he shouldn't have come to public to say it. Okay, no, okay, let me even play the video. So that it's not be as if I'm the one that said it. Let me play it, I'll be right back. Man of God, if you want to address the issue of prophetess not ministering in the altar, not being a fan of the church, you don't do it openly. You do this type of thing on a pastor's conference, on a minister's conference. Not You organize a minister's conference, pastor's conference, and say it. <laughs> hey, ah, my dear, uh, my dear brother. <clears throat> Sorry, <clears throat> Evangelist Chukwe Bukano. He will not, he will not listen to this one. He will say it the way it is. This is the problem that Christianity's churches are facing. You are telling your ministers, your members, what they want to hear, not what they are supposed to hear. Evangelist Chukwe Bukano Zubi don't hide word. Why will he paint word? Why will he come and paint word to tell you, eh, if you want to, if you want to put your mouth in a woman's private part, put it by the corner. Don't put it inside. Oh, oh come on, tell you, eh, just do like this to the leg. <laughs> it's not him. You see now what he said. So meaning that simply means most of you have been hiding the truth because of you don't want to lose your members bros sir when you have the calling of god in you when you have the oil oh yeah, say it's the way it is people will come now you see what is trending all this while watch zion on sunday the new members will be more than people that came the new members will be more than people that are even in zion you cannot change the mindset of people the truth is there Evangelist Chukwe Bukano Zewi has stand, he has come out from the throat. Guys, I hope with this video I've been able to prove to the world and let you know that Evangelist Chukwe Bukano Zewi is not against prophetess. It's, he did not say prophetess are marine or from the kingdom of darkness because of most people did not listen to the message. As I said, the message is on the comment section. Yeah, the link, just click on it, take your time, push it to where the message starts, and you will listen to all what he said. And please. Don't let people deceive you on social media. Meanwhile, before I go, I can't help you to see Evangelist Chukwe Bukano Zobi. I will not be able to help you to see him. Please, I don't work in Zion Prime Movement Atrash. Please, I don't receive salary from Zion Prime Movement Atrash. And don't think Evangelist Chukwe Bukano Zobi pays me. No. I do this thing and willingly. And thank God that God is able to use me, have been able to use me to bring that the truth. And as well to push the gospel from my end. Don't forget. Don't let anybody scam you. 
Evangelist Chukwu Ebukano, as we cannot chat you on Facebook, WhatsApp. He doesn't do that. He doesn't have that time. So anybody doing that, they are all scammers. The original page of Zion Prime Movement Outreach is over 2.3 million followers, and it has a blue tick. Don't be deceived. Don't let them scam you. And as well, I cannot ask you of money or tell you to give me money. Let me help you to see, brother. Ebuka is a lie. It's not me. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Share this video and let other people enjoy and see the truth. Bye-bye. Follow the page.